As you know, we have a big problem in Africa uh, regarding cancer. We expect in the next 20 years, uh, cancer deaths should about double uh, from where they are right now. So this is a major public health problem that needs to be dealt with. And the purpose of my presentation today was to talk about uh, how we generate the knowledge that's needed to address this big problem through collaboration and research and how we begin to create the tools uh, and the scientific background, the scientific basis uh, to address cancer uh, to decrease the, the number of uh, deaths that we are expecting to see in the coming years. The main thing that needs to be done is that we need to bring people together who are currently fairly siloed. Uh, clinicians in Africa, uh, scientists in Africa, people who work in areas that are all very much related to address the problem but don't talk to each other as well as they could. Uh, it's usually not out of uh, lack of interest. It's usually because people are quite busy. Uh, the tools that are needed to make uh, scientific research happen uh, have not been invented or have not been optimized for the African setting, setting. and so we need to make sure that we have uh, processes in place, protocols in place, and means of communication in place so that when we try to address a cancer problem in Africa, uh, the people the, the people who want to work on these problems in Africa actually can uh, make, a, make progress. So the, the areas that have to be addressed include uh, setting up academic systems that allow African researchers to have a pathway towards success. There needs to be uh, tenure track kind of models, research track models, so that an individual who wants to do research has a, a ladder. Uh, for success and that those ladders for success are supported by institutions, that the institutions reward research and uh, the uh, public health kinds of activities beyond just their clinical activities. And so these are things that take institutional change and buy in from institutions. So that's one area. Uh, there need to be processes and protocols that are standardized so that people are doing work that is at a very high level and is uh, com comparable, can be uh, uh, understood and compared across different centers uh, so that the methods that are used for doing research and for making public health impact are um, viable and, and uh, re repeatable across different settings. Well, through working in Africa on cancer research for almost 20 years, we've had a few lessons that we've learned that help us to, that in our experience, really make a difference. Uh, one is that you have to have a local influential PI, someone who's a champion for the work that needs to be done, who has uh, contacts both at higher levels, ministries of health or heads of universities or other institutions, but also who's willing to uh, foster the careers of junior investigators and build teams. And that's an incredibly important thing uh, and a difficult thing because there isn't always a person like that. But when you have that person and when you can foster uh, their activities, uh, they can really make a huge difference. Uh, the second thing that needs to happen is that institutions need to buy in uh, to the notion that cancer research and cancer translational activities are important. Uh, and so they need to commit. They need to commit resources. They need to commit space or time. Uh, they need to understand that these investments that they make will pay off in different ways. Uh, so that takes a time to convince the institutions how to make these investments and that these investments are worth their while. Uh, so those kinds of activities set up the, the, the uh, groundwork for having the kind of work that will make an impact on cancer. But on top of that, there need to be uh, systems uh, for getting resources, laboratory resources, or individuals who are trained, students, um, the, the actual people and the uh, resources that need to be there to do the research. Um, and so there are a whole series of uh, pieces to that. There are logistical uh, issues, ethics issues, uh, financial issues that need to be set up in terms of systems that people and institutions can use to build these processes.